In today's episode, I'm going to upgrade my Ender 3 with the new Creality controller board. It says version 1.1.4, but this is the silent version. It's supposed to have TMC2208 drivers, version 1.1.8 of Marlin, and a bootloader. So I'm going to install it on here, show you how to do it, and then we'll test it out. And we'll see if all that is true on today's Filament Friday. This episode of Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. This is the board I purchased. It's direct from Creality. It's silent version 1.1.4. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that its features include a bootloader installed, TMC drivers, which are 2208s, and version 1.1.8 of Marlin. Here's the board that I received. Everything looks good. Everything's solid. But I pulled one of the heat sinks off just to verify, and you can see it is a trinamic driver, a 2208. Before I installed the new board, I wanted some kind of baseline. So I used this sound measurement app on my phone and I measured 52, 53 when just the machine is running, so basically the fans. But then once it starts printing, watch this thing jump. It jumps into the 60s right away and soon it'll hit 70. So you can see there's 73. And this is just leaving a test strip on the side. And then once it moves to the center, you can really hear this thing making noise, 77. It does peak. That's what it's showing a peak in the upper left hand corner. This is really, really noisy. And you know, I've gotten so used to it, but until I put a meter to it, I didn't realize how loud this thing was. So the first step is to unplug it because I don't want to get electrocuted. And then I'm going to take the cover off the top of the electronics. There's three screws. I already took the screws out. So now I just need to disconnect the fan and set this aside. Next, I'll remove the connector for the LCD at the front of the board. It's on a ribbon cable, so this can easily just lay to the side and out of the way. Now I suggest you take a picture of your board so you've got a picture of all the connections just in case something goes wrong, it's a good reference. And then I'm gonna disconnect the stepper motors. Now some of these have a little glue on them, so I had to wiggle them a little bit. You don't pull too hard on these wires because that's not the best way to do it. You should really be pulling on the connectors but it's hard to get to them. So I'm just pulling on the wires carefully and wiggling and getting the glue to break. So once I've got those off, I shove that to the side. Now there's four screws that hold this board in place. I'm gonna remove those four screws so I can lift this board completely out of the packaging here. And this way I can get the new board over on top of it and move connector by connector so I don't mess anything up. So once I've got it set up here, I move from each connector slot to its new connector slot. This way I don't get anything screwed up. I'm only moving one connector at a time and I'm making sure it's going in the proper position. Once I get all the connectors in place, now I can swing the board to the side and bring the other one out so I can get access to the bare wires. These require me to unscrew the terminal block. So again, I'm gonna do one wire at a time, make sure the wires are not frayed or sticking out in any way that could cause a short. And then I'll slide it back into its proper slot. You can see the board is 180 degrees, so it's the front connector is now at the back. And then I'll tighten it up. So I do this wire by wire, so this way I don't mess anything up or put the wrong wire in the wrong slot. So I just hold it in place, tighten the screw, and move to the next wire. The final two connections on the original board are the power connections at the back. They're really hard to get to, but I'm going to do them both at the same time. I know black is on the left and red is on the right. And I should be able to slide the new board right in because these wires are being held in place. And I was right. I just pushed the board in, the wires lined right up. All I had to do was push the board back and then tighten the screws and it worked really well. I could see the wires were going deep into the terminal block no shorts, everything was good. So now I just need to remount this board. I put all four screws in loosely and then went back and tightened them so the board was firm. The stepper motor cables have a label on them, so like X here, and I match it up to the X connector on the board. The board itself shows X, Y, Z, and extruder. So all I did was check the label and then put it in the right position. The final connector is the LCD connector on the ribbon cable. And if you just follow the bend, it'll naturally go into place. The connector is keyed, so you can really only put it in one way, but it should naturally fall into place. Once that's there, now you just need to connect the fan back up on the cover 
and put the cover in place. And there's three screws to install, two at the front and one at the back. The one at the back, you have to slide the bed forward in order to access it, but that's it. Now I could plug it in, turn it on, and it powers up and shows the Ender emblem. Now I know it's working. Let's check what firmware is on this board. So I'll go down to About Printer and check it out. It's 1.1.6.1, not the 1.1.8 that was advertised. So this already is disappointing. Now let's check if these TMC drivers are really working. So here's my baseline again. I got it powered up. The fans are blowing. I'm getting like the same reading, 54 dB. Now let's start to print. And look at this. I got a little bit of a spike up to 62. But other than that, all I'm hearing is the fans. It is so quiet. This thing is enormously quiet. There's no noise whatsoever in these steppers. These TMC drivers are doing a fantastic job with these low-cost steppers on this low-cost machine. This is a major upgrade. I'm loving how quiet this is. Let's just run this for a second and we'll see how it does once it gets to the center of the bed to see if we see any noise or hear any noise from these steppers. And there you go. It moved to the center of the bed. No noise. So the TMC drivers are definitely doing their job. What about print quality? Well, I'm really not seeing a major difference. I only printed a few things so far. The one on the left is the original. The one on the right is with the TMC drivers. But I did notice up close that the original had the salmon skin stripes on Benchy. And the new one with the TMC drivers, those stripes are gone. So no need for the TL smoothers. When I compared the Marvin before and after, I really didn't see a difference. I wanted to try out the bootloader so I connected my computer, but I realized the 1.1.4 board has a USB to serial chip 340G versus the 1.1.3 had a FTDI chip. So I had to download the 340G driver before I could do anything. I was able to communicate with it through a terminal window, but when I brought Marlin into Arduino, and tried to program, it would not connect. Tells me that the bootloader is not installed. Then I thought it's got 1.1.6.1 firmware. Maybe it's got thermal runaway protection enabled. So I disconnected the heater element and then I tried to preheat the hot end. I used the prepare menu, preheat PLA hot end and let it sit. Now it's not showing a temperature because the heat element is out, but after five to 10 seconds, it worked. Thermal runaway protection kicked in and it halted the heating element. Amazing. So there you have it. The 1.1.4 silent version running on an Ender 3 with the TMC 2208 drivers. It's so quiet. That is awesome. And no more salmon skin. So that's a huge bonus. But no 1.1.8 firmware and no bootloader. That is false advertising by Creality. And I am not happy about that. But... The fact that it has thermal runaway protection now enabled, that's a huge safety advantage. So is this worth the $49? Well, those two items, the TMC drivers and the thermal runaway protection, in my opinion, it's worth upgrading just for those two. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below.